this is a bloody mouse, isn't it? Got in there. Yeah. Oh, oh there's something in it. They're very reluctant to go in it, whatever. Yeah, bad cool. In it. Nothing in there. Maybe do with a bit of spring cleaning, unless there's been unless he's been right at back. Still folding bottom. Just spot it bloody oxen and then, then bring them back and get them out at the bottom of the edge. Put them on a decent stand, really. Yeah. Is there still a lot up there? A lot of old gear? What, oxen? Yeah. I don't know. I there was a lot in that grass paddock. I think, uh, I think it's, it's just called Vera, isn't it? Keeps things up there. All right. Queens just love new combs, so we uh, bit up, she'll go down onto them and that lane. Should improve the things then. I was livestock at your end anyway. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, it's got a problem or two, but not, not nothing too uh, drastic at the moment. So yeah. That bull knackered one of my cows the other day. I don't know what he's done to her, but he's ruptured some of it. All her belly from sort of her udder at back oh, to two foot along, right down. It looks like her insides have been pushed right across. She's sound so good, doesn't yeah. it? She's, she's alright, like. Um, but, uh, she's going up and down and she's eating and she's looking after a calf. But I'm. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to pull her out. To work. So they go down to that bottom. So they go down and do bottom that, box. that bottom box. you got going at the moment, about 80 still. Yeah, about 80. Yeah, I've come through winter pretty well this year. Yeah. Um, and the livening up a bit. Yeah, it's only small colonies, so it won't do too much. But it'll soon expand. 
Yeah. You know, sm small colonies soon get going. Some of my worst colonies that I started with last year finished up producing most of them. Did they? Yeah. And then they sort of started really strong. Some of them weakened off. And My temperatures are up and down so much at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. As well. Yeah, they'll be reluctant to produce a, a lot of brood until it warms up a bit and they've got enough base to cover them. So some of mine though, just, well this, this one is exceptionally strong. Well, she's here and she's laying, so if I don't find it, I know it will. But I'm trying to get get round every everything, and find all my queens early, and then it makes management so much easier later on. Um, when you're trying to find a, a queen in sixty thousand, sixty thousand yeah. bees later on. When bees, hives are absolutely bubbling over, it makes life quite difficult. But if they're all marked, it makes the job so much easier. I think you'd be able to find it dead easy in this bloody hive. It's always in small colonies that they're, they're harder to find. I don't know why. Sometimes they tuck the bums in cells and. Yeah, and just get squat away. Mm. With this, um, is it African hornet? Or Asian hornet. Asian yeah. hornet. Asian hornet. Yeah. Yeah. They found a big the nest day. down in Gloucester, and then there was a single, um, single hornet found up in Scotland the other way. Oh, this got spread about a bit. Well, I think that one just came in on a pallet. Um, was it big maybe one? a pallet of timber <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Was it strapped down? Right. I would have wanted them. They're more, more small like beetle. That, that, that might eventually make it here. It's in Italy at the moment. The thing is, with everything coming on in pallets and in container ships, it's not far for them. You know, mm. it's just, See anything different at all? Bitch. <laughs> no. This is definitely here. But I cannot spot it. You're thinking that little colony like this, dead easy to find. No. No. That's just yeah, last thing. Just leave the one in you want? Yeah.
scratch ass little thing, mate. Right? This is fun. Won't be, won't be sourcing this one for breeding off. A bit easier for spotting next time. Been watching for hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's a change from looking at a digger bucket. So. <laughs> <laughs> busy with, with that job? Yeah, real busy at the moment, yeah. I think we'll just start among spuds, shifting a bit of land. Right. So that's sort of going to be picking up this next farm. Who are you driving for? Just driving to Catford, you're about to do... Um, yeah, right. It's about 1,200 acre all up, something like that. Right. Yeah, it was wipe off marker so I can rub stuff out now. Mm -hmm. um, 